string's fine. So sometimes I get pictures sent to me or see them posted online uh, of string loops which look like this. And the people posting probably don't know what it is, they're worried that it looks exposed, it's not what a string should look like, and they'll ask if it's okay. Uh, and somebody will jump in and say, no, it's come off, it's going to break, get rid of it, um, you know, that sort of thing. And normally a third person comes in with a sense of reason and logic and points out, no, string's fine, this is a Flemish twist. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Now, I'd say most people today will be more familiar with the endless loop strings. The strings look like this. So you have the end loops, which are wrapped in a serving material, uh, which protects the string itself. And obviously, when the serving uh, comes loose or wears out, there is a sign of string damage, you have to replace the loop, replace the string. And because people aren't used to seeing uh, strings without the serving, they think that it's uh, damaged or it's on the verge of breaking. That's really not the case. So this is perhaps more common these days. It's a bit easier to make uh, or mass produce. But the Flemish twist, which is much more common in traditional archery, will look very different to this. The Flemish twist strings, as you can see, don't use a serving. You can serve the center as normal for your knocking points, uh, but you don't need to serve the loops themselves. Instead, they are braided uh, or twisted together, hence the Flemish twist, and that provides the absorption for impact and abrasion when this is used. Um, is this bad for the string? Of course not. Uh, this is completely fine. As long as the uh, string uh, knocks or uh, the end tips here are properly rounded and smooth, then there should be minimal contact and abrasion with the string. So this shouldn't be damaged from regular usage. So if you see a string like this, this is not faulty, it's not frayed, it's not flawed. This is purposely designed to be like this. It's called Flemish twist and it is very common in traditional archery. In contrast, I do want to show you uh, somewhat more alarming uh, bit of damage. So this is what you should be worried about. Uh, over here we have a regular endless loop uh, served string and unfortunately the finish of these bows is a little shoddy and the edges of the limb tips are quite sharp so it's caused a lot of abrasion on the serving materials. As you can see there it's basically cut into the serving the serving is worn out and it's continued to cut into the string itself so eventually this string will fail so if it looks like this that's what i'd be worried about i would definitely want to replace the string not just the serving but the string um, and i would definitely look, look at um, smoothing out or sanding out these string knocks but if it's an uncovered string um, with no serving then that's different that's fine so that begs the question, why use a Flemish twist string rather than a conventional endless loop string? And I, I want to asterisk the conventional. This is normal for modern bows. This is normal for trad bows. You can stop them around, so trad bows can easily shoot endless loop. Uh, modern bows can shoot Flemish twist. You don't normally see that, but they can. Um, so functionally, they are exactly the same. Uh, we're not splitting bow strands and saying, oh, this sounds better, this feels better. Functionally, they're the same thing. The difference is more so in how they're made. And just very quickly, in case you're wondering why this is called an endless loop string, it's because the entire string, uh, when you unravel all the strands and remove the, uh, the serving, the end loops, it's one continuous loop. Um, there is a start to an end technically, but it's hidden under one of these servings. So apart from that, the whole thing is made from a continuous cycle and loop of strings. Uh, in contrast, the Flemish twist strings actually have a start and end. So instead of looping the string around uh, six or seven times, it's actually measured out as one straight line, uh, one straight string, and then the ends are cut. So there actually is one end here and one end here. And these ends are braided together to form the loops you see here. Um, and that will give you some clues as to why, in some ways, this is kind of easier to make. You technically don't need any tools to make this. You can make a traditional uh, Flemish twist bowstring by hand, as long as you can measure it out, 
um, cut the ends and then braid them together, then you can make it by hand. Um, you can use DIY jigs and they're pretty easy to make compared to a uh, endless lube jig. Uh, and you can make uh, the Flemish twist strings very quickly by hand. I don't make them, but I'll definitely link some of the videos to people who are very good at making them. Uh, but that it is in some ways easy to make. I also say that the jigs to make the Flemish twist strings are much more compact because you don't need the whole length of the string. You can measure out um, the length on a much compact board and wrap it around and cut the, uh, the braided end. So um, it is a bit easier and more compact and some might say even faster than making an endless loop string. Uh, look, I can push that endless loop in say 15 minutes if I'm not distracted but uh, you can probably make one of these in the same amount of time without much practice so um, that's the main difference really it's not how they function but it's how they're made and again you'll see these kinds of strings much more commonly in traditional bows you can use them in other bows and vice versa you can use endless loop strings to these bows functionally they're the same but the point is don't freak out if you see this kind of loop with no serving, it is most likely a Flemish twist bowstring you're looking at and it's meant to be that way. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and informative. Stay safe, shoot well, and hopefully we'll see you next time. I've never been a huge fan of the endless loop. Nani?